Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Traders, the game that I'm developing at the moment. Uh, I've made some uh, decent progress uh, last weeks. I'm uh, going to show you uh, in a moment uh, how and what and when. I uh, also uh, compacted uh, the code a little bit, uh, put some things uh, together. There are not uh, that many more of uh, this year. Bar Brothel Casino in the past I had for every... Uh, one, I had a special upgrade and a special research, but I turned that into one uh, file. Now you can see that at this little circle uh, arrow here, that uh, it reverts back to itself instead of a lot of other things. Uh, same goes for transactions, for ships. Ships uh, is being done now. You can uh, buy ships, you can sell them. So that should work. The the goods I'm still working on. Let's show you that. Also, uh, the hiring of people is uh, finished as far as it can be. So let's uh, start up the game and show you a little bit uh, more about all these things. I already have the browser open. Let's uh, go to Space Trader and I'm going to full screen. That looks a little bit better than you don't see uh, this down here and this down here. So let's press F11. Made a little bit of a, a welcoming screen, so to say. Uh, here you can also choose uh, whether you want uh, how to display the, the numbers. Uh, I'm going for the top one. A thousand separators with a dot and decimals with a comma. Uh, I removed that from the the menu on the side. We we'll see that in a moment. I removed uh, more stuff. Also, now we get uh, your name. So let's go for space. Press enter. Your last name. That's being mouse and the name of the space station. Well, let's say a deep space five. Why not? Uh, press enter again. And here we are. And now we have the sidebar here. This is uh, the usual thing, you've already seen this, uh, so I'm going to quickly skip through this. If you want to see a little bit more about it, I would say pick uh, the previous episode of the one before. I think it was even the first episode, if I'm not mistaken. So this is basically still the same. This is a little bit of a test. Uh, I'm going to give myself a, a little bit of more money and a little bit more research points so I can show you a, some... Uh, of the things that have been done. Uh, we still have all these areas. Uh, the operation area still triggers an event. So uh, change the color a little bit here. Also give myself uh, a nice photo instead of the, uh, the default that we had. Let's uh, continue here and let's continue this. A little bit more info on what exactly, why some things are uh, happening. Uh, most of the stuff has been done in, no, not in this one, oops. Uh, basically the research, human resources and upgrade. If I'm now going to upgrade, I can do anything at all. Shows me what I have, shows me what I can do, but I can't do anything. It's, uh, it's not working and why it's not working? Because I need to research it before I can, do anything at all. Now I do have a lot of research points at the moment. So yeah, I can basically pick up everything that I want. I see here is a, a picture of Astra or AI. So she is generating uh, one point uh, per day. So that's not really much. If we want to have more points, we need to have more people. So basically the way to do that is to go to human resources and hire some some people, but we can't hire people before we have an uh, HR manager. You have to see this as the management team, so to speak. Of these are the the persons in charge of these uh, these areas, and the pilots, and the navigator, and the engineer, and the miners are being uh, hired by the HR manager. If we buy a ship, the HR manager is responsible for making sure that uh, there's a crew on board and that for the brothel, the, the madame does. So yeah, that's uh, you can't hire anyone without an HR manager. So if we click on this and we hire her, I'm going to make still uh, something like a notification. If you come here for the first time, say, oh, this is human resources. You, uh, there's still another one. Uh, Assigned here, you need to assign someone, blah, 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 blah. And then give you an option to, to get a call and have a little bit of a chat. And then 
finally you can hire this one and then we see all of a sudden that we can hire uh, some people she is now employed as you can see but we do have uh, a cargo base so we can hire a warehouse manager we do have a docking base so we can hire a docking manager now we have a communication center so we can hire a specialist for that we do have the research lab so we can hire researchers we do have uh, cargo contracts already available and we also have security office that's a new one we have it available but i think i'm going to do a little bit different here not sure yet because i have some plans about uh how to get the security officer but that's also it depends a little bit if you're going to play the story or you skip the story completely and say i want to play and make it yourself a little bit harder that's uh, your choice uh now we have an hr manager we also see a little picture of her that someone is here assigned uh we could go for uh let's say uh the researchers why not let's uh, staff our uh, research we have a senior a junior and a, a normal one so if we now go back to the research lab we see that we have three people assigned here plus astra other things uh, for example like uh, the bar and the cinema and uh, that sort of stuff don't need uh, a manager astra can do that uh, we can research the the for example the shop we don't have that so let's uh, pick the shop here now you can see we have researched it and now since we have researched it we can also upgrade station uh, the station and get ourselves a shop we can't only do that if we have researched it if we don't have it researched uh, it still stays uh yeah grayed out so to speak of so let's uh, buy the shop there we go now we can see we own the shop there's nothing left here we can't uh, do anything more and now if we go to the shop in the living area we have a shop here and now you can see astra is on this side because she is the main character here she is in charge of the shop if she is appearing on this side she is only assisting this is more the people that uh, are important the other things well you can click on it and still pops up but at some point uh, i'm going to make it like uh, you got a maybe you can't access it i'm not sure yet if you haven't researched it or you get uh, a notification that no one works here not quite sure how to uh, fill this in a little bit better i changed the sport hall into a fitness room i think that's a little bit more appropriate on a spaceship sport hall is uh, yeah could be but not the best thing to have um same goes for a fabrication area and bay area we if we hire people we have uh, There are pictures over there let's go back to the operation area um human resources like i said is fully uh, basically fully operational let's uh, hire all the people why not and then we can see uh, a little bit what's going on for the moment that's all the people we have we can't hire a school teacher because we don't have a doctor we can't hire um, uh, we don't have a school uh, we can't hire a doctor because we don't have a medical clinic so yeah that's uh, something that needs to be done uh the research lab well we can uh pick a hangar bay at this one and let's say let's pick a school and a bar why not so now we can upgrade those things we can buy them maintenance school bar there we go and now we should be able to go to human resources again and we can now have the maintenance manager the school teacher the bar like i said that's astra so you don't have to do anything about that we are correct she should be popping up now there she is she's already since we have the bar that's uh did we pick up some other managers i think we did no we didn't pick up anything here it seems okay not yet let's go back and also do that then uh research lab well i do have a cargo bay so i should have let's go back one more uh oh it's, it's a process i need a bay area yep cargo bay there we go now we have the cargo bay manager here the docking bay we have the uh, the maintenance guy that can provide us extra income we also have the uh, the manager and for all of these i'm not sure if i already told it uh, last time but all these uh at least the bar the brothel casino cinema fitness room uh, the restaurants and the shop those are things that can uh, get you a daily income uh, 
So I'm not sure how much a shop will cost us. Uh, let's have a look. I think we can see that over here. Yeah, shop, 500 credits. So probably we're going to have a profit somewhere between 500 and let's say 800 or 900 credits a day. So there is a possibility that you lose some money, but in general, the chances that you have more than 500 will be higher than less. It does, because I'm going to scale it from four to say eight or 900. Uh, same goes for, for a lot of other things. So that's a, a little bit of an element. Uh, other thing that I worked on lately is the, the ships. I have the ability now to, uh, to buy some ships. Change this a little bit. New ships, used ships, rental ships, and sell of return ships. You can sell the ships that you buy for half of the price back to the ships uh, dealer. And here you can also return the rental ships. I made the... Uh, a split in cargo ships and miners for uh, yeah reasons so let's buy a few ships and you don't see them here but if we let's uh, buy a big one we do have some money sure why not and a small cargo ship and maybe also a few used ships yeah could be interesting let's buy some there we go and also let's rent a ship the rental ships uh, okay we do have uh, already a decent amount of of uh, points uh, with uh, the ships dealer because every time you buy a ship you get some points and depending on the amount of points you can rent ships uh, you start with maximum of two and uh, if you maxed out on points you can rent five ships the difference between the buy ships and the rental ships is that the buy ship is being delivered to your space station and you have to get a crew on there that's been done of course by your hr manager uh, the rental ships already have a crew included so you can order the uh the ships dealer where to uh locate or where to to pop up with their ship with their crew uh, at that point and you can simply here choose a planet where you want to have them uh start so you don't run out on uh on extra cost because they're going to cost you 2000 credits uh, a day if they show up at your space station and you have to bring them to another planet that's another day so it will cost you another 2000 so i decided to to let you uh choose where to go and the ship's dealer uh, contacts a local uh, dealer or whatever and make sure that your goods that you want to buy can be loaded into the ship because you can only buy goods at uh, if there is a ship uh, on the planet that can be your own ship it can be a rental ship doesn't matter but there needs to be a uh, a ship otherwise you can't trade so let's uh, go here for example and say rent there we go and we could, oh, they all set it to Aridiani now. That's interesting. Uh, can do this one. Let's also rent this one. There we go. Now we have two ships rented. Let's go back. And here at the cell return ship, now we can see which ships we have. Uh, our own ships, our own miners, and the rental ships. Made a little bit of a difference in there. Uh, I have still the test available here, I think. That shows a little bit more information about the ships. I'm going to make another uh, other layout for this, but I needed to know how can I access all these info. Uh, the price is there, but it's not formatted uh, as it usually should be. This is a bulk ship uh, cargo ID. It doesn't have any cargo on board, but you see uh, the buy points you get is eight and the sell points is two. That means the amount of points you get uh, at your uh, relation with uh, the dealer so if we at this moment would go a day forward look at that our upkeep at the moment is twenty thousand. that's because we bought a lot of ships uh, let's go a day forward why not let's uh, go to the next day there we go now in the diplomatic area now we should have uh, the ships dealer available yeah okay that's good because you have a lot of points uh Still need to think about something, how, what, and when, but this is, uh, yeah, still work in progress. Uh, why you can exit it from here. It has to do with uh, the storyline, so to say. Uh, also the pirates. Pirates, I'm not uh, quite sure either. The fact is with the pirates, and I'll show you that in a moment, that you can't get through the 
uh, to the good market of from them the contraband market if you don't uh, have a relationship with them then this will be gone you only see three of them this is i already uh, showed you the last time the, mi the minimum and maximum prices of the different types of goods that are in the game uh, what I forgot to show you is, of course, that you can go to the planet and see how and what and when. And I already have uh, been working a little bit here. We have a buy uh, section, but it's not uh, functional yet. I still uh, need to figure out a few things, how to do that, how to compare to the ship. Uh, is the ship in orbit? Um, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's uh, still work in progress. But at some point, you're going to buy here. It sends you uh, for this amount of these types of goods to yeah setting the the destination you have to select yourself like uh, we did with the rental ships but uh, the point of origin is of course here so i still have some things to do but let's go back to our ships first and back to here interstellar ships let's sell all the ships uh, and see what's happening here uh, let's sell this one and this one. And why isn't my upkeep going down? Ooh, I think there's still a little bit of an issue here. Yeah, found a little bug. Unless that's being changed uh, afterwards. That could be. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. No, I think what it is. This is not our, uh, no, these are the, the, the sections that we bought the, uh, over here. Because the ship's upkeep is a completely different uh, thing. Mm, okay, yeah, I still uh, need to figure out some things, uh, what goes where. But I think it's still good. Let's have a quick look at the upgrade. Yeah, that's this one. Here a thousand, a ten thousand for the hangar bay. Yeah, we had five thousand, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, ten, seventeen, ten. Well, oh, and hmm, hmm, I have to check this out. Not quite one hundred percent sure. I don't think that the ships are in there. Could uh, could have a quick look later on, but let's have a restart of the game. Then we can check it uh, pretty quickly. Now let's pick up the normal ones and let's go back here and this one and let's go into the operations area again then we get this and allow it for now uh let's see human resources and uh, now let's go to the ships wait a minute let's see if the ships if we buy a ship daily upkeep 500 I can't buy a ship because I don't have a million credits, but I can buy a used ship. Yeah, that's a thousand credits. No, it doesn't upgrade. So that's not uh, in in incorporated in the upkeep. This is, uh, Dave, uh, okay, try that again. This is uh, just a space station. Only the space station's upkeep, uh, not the, the crew or the ship's upkeeps. That's uh, a completely different story. So that should also mean if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong that if we hire people, yeah, it does upgrade. Okay. I have to think about it. If I want to do that still, or that I'm going to change that also and keep it in a separate variable, uh, then you have a, a, a breakdown of the ships, uh, the, the space station itself, the, the crew of the space station, the ships, and the crew of the ships. Maybe that's a little bit better, but... Uh, not quite sure yet, but that's something can always change. That's not really a problem. Um, was there anything else? We have bought the ships. We have sold ships. Uh, I don't really think it was a lot of work to get all this because you have to make sure that uh, you can't buy anything here before you uh, have researched it. And you also need to have enough money. Uh, we don't have that much yeah 250 so we can't get anything at the moment but that's basically uh, the status of our uh, of our game of my, my game i have to say like i said maybe it's the best thing to it's a browser game to put it into uh, full screen might be a little bit easier i've uh, removed a lot of stuff here 
just brought it down to this. I think it's a little bit, uh, yeah, easier, a little bit uh, less uh, overwhelming. Only a few things. The saves uh, are important. You need to save to disk. The game does that automatically. Otherwise, uh, you can't do anything. And then you can uh, save. You can load it from disk again. And you simply can go to downloads. And here you see Space Trader. I think I had another one. No, not anymore. But you can open it again. And then uh, that's uh, I can, can show you. If I now go back to the main hall here and test now i have a million credits and a million here and now i uh, pick up the save again load from disk oh it's back here okay we want to go there thank you and now we're back to 50,250. so that works uh, perfectly restart the game simply everything goes back to normal from uh, day one again so let's uh, press f11 and let's keep it as it is okay that was it for uh, this update people i uh, hopefully next time uh, i have also the uh, the buy and sell uh, options available uh, with the ships uh, transporting the goods then the game is basically working in in general and i think i'm going to release it uh, first to my channel members and then later on to anyone else but thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and hopefully until the next time bye for now